What's up, Cancer? All right, so we're going to be jumping into you guys' reading. And first, you know, I'd like to give you the uh, word to kind of describe the energy that surrounds you now or probably will be coming up for you guys soon. Um, the word for you was attention, okay? So this is working one of two ways. Either um, someone wants to give you some attention or you're just going to be receiving a lot of attention or maybe you have your attention on something or someone, okay? But the word for you is attention. Now, uh, kind of a sidebar, with that attention thing, kind of like the first part I was telling you, there was like this um, willingness to get your attention or doing something to get your attention. Um, the phrase kind of that went with it was willing to do anything to get your attention, okay? So, you might have someone who is willing to do anything to get your attention or has been doing things to get your attention. Dropping small nuggets and hints and clues. I even got earlier thirst trapping. So somebody might be posting some type of pictures, knowing that it's going to come across your timeline. They may be, you know, um, dropping hints and clues to other people because they know that person is going to come back and say something to you or bring their name up in conversation. I don't know. Stuff like that, okay? But it's something about some attention. So we're going to be looking at it. Um, also, again, I keep getting that you're going to have a lot of attention or there's a lot of attention on you now or about to be. So something that you're doing, something that you're working on, you know we love the gifts, the skills, the talents, the projects, all of that kind of stuff. And I also just got making noise. A lot of you guys are either making noise or about to make noise. And I'm, I'm saying in a sense symbolically, like whatever it is you're doing, you're about to create a buzz, okay? There's about to be a lot of attention surrounding you or your project or something pertaining to your gift, okay? Attention, 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 okay? Pay attention. Pay attention. All right, here we go. Three oracle cards, and then we're going to move into the spread. Attention. Woo. Balance. Okay? So paying attention. And, um, again, paying attention and attention being on you. That's the balance that I'm getting for the entire thing. It's working both ways. It's a duality. Also, some of you guys need to be balanced. I'm hearing balance in your diet. Um, for those who munch and snack, um, also, make sure you add in, like, leafy greens and fruits and vegetables and water, water, water. I mean, your water sign, go consume it. Go drink it, okay? Let's see what else we got. Self-reflection. Okay, um, I'm, what I'm getting here is, like, some of you guys are more valuable than you think you're worth. Or whatever it is, your talent, your skill, whatever it is that you're doing that's supposed to have this attention on you. Some of you all don't maybe understand your value, don't see it. This person here has their eyes closed. Um, second guessing, questioning yourself, questioning your abilities. All of these things are coming up right now. Okay? But you got it. Somebody needs to know that. Let's see what else we get. Oh, um, that's another thing too. Some of you guys, remember I was saying pay attention. This figure here has her eyes closed. And um, some of you guys may not see certain opportunities that are right there. Some of you guys may not see your own self value and worth. And a lot of this has to do with why you don't see maybe all of the people who are watching, who are staring. I'm getting that staring too. Let's see what else. Wisdom. This is the time of implementing wisdom. Um, and I always tell you guys, pray for wisdom because that helps you, you know, know your next steps. It's so funny here because I say that and I see out of all of these, nobody's eyes are showing. Her back is turned, her eyes are closed, and the balance has clouds over the eyes. So this is all intuitive. So if there were no tarot cards, if there were no religious books, if there were no science books, if there was no books, nothing, what would you do? How would you be guided? And that's what I feel like somebody needs right now. In other words, I feel all of that to say wisdom, wisdom, wisdom can take you so much further. Because with wisdom alone, you don't need any tools, okay? You don't need any physical tools. All right, let's go ahead and get to the center of the reading. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what you got going on. Ooh, seven of wands. So this is you guys 
fighting for what you believe in, but also having to be the way uh, people with a stick. Um, a lot of signs are coming into that energy of popularity. And I've been told to tell a lot of you guys, it's going to be due to advanced technology, what we got going on, you know, platform wise. And do you notice how this person here is on a platform, right? While these other sticks are, you know, beating away, chopping away. So, uh, so a lot of you guys are being uh, raised up amongst the crowd. You're being picked up amongst the rest, okay? And this is why you have all the attention. You notice that person is standing on the platform and all these other people are coming at that one person. Maybe some of you guys sing, okay? Um, maybe this is some of you guys making it to a certain position of like, um, you know, like you're the supervisor, right? And now you're in charge of all of these people. The key word here is you're in charge. And again, some of you guys are maybe realizing your own self-worth. And because of that, you're raising your vibration. And now you're attracting more and more attention, right? More high vibrational attention. In a good way. You know what I mean? High vibrational. Let's see what this crossed by. Ooh, the two of cups. And you just may have caught the attention of a soulmate. Hmm. Or some type of partnership. Some type of union. Now, this here is the person who do anything to get your attention because this is how this person is looking at you. So while they're looking at soulmate, you're over here maybe beating away people with the stick or again, um, in a self-reflective mode, still understanding who you are, growing, learning, but someone still, now this can be a past energy or this can be a new energy coming in. They'll do anything to get your attention. So this could be someone, I mean, let's see, let's talk about it. If, um, if this was someone from the past, let's talk about what they do to get your attention or why they want your attention. And then if this is someone new coming in, let's see, same thing. Why, they, why are they showing up? Okay. Past energy, beauty. I just got, someone saw you blossom. Okay. Especially with all these flowers here. Someone saw you transform. Someone saw you go from like, I don't want to say you were nothing, but just give you uh, some word examples. Nothing to something, you know, you went from night to day, you know, stuff like that. Um, complete transformation. Like you maybe did discover something in yourself and you push forward with it and then you blossomed. Okay. So this person will do anything to get your attention because they see you as very beautiful. Or maybe they feel like what you guys had was beautiful. Maybe it took some self-reflection on their part to understand what the beautiful thing was you guys had. So they do anything to get your attention. Something about, oh, wow, I didn't even realize that butterfly right there. Yes, that's how it is. Your transformation. Thank you. From, you know, caterpillar to butterfly. So this person would do anything to have you back to, to get your attention um, because they see the beauty in you or what you guys had. Now, it's a new energy. The path. I like that. I like too, if you'll take notice, the path is leading up for her to go through and enter that portal where it's like daytime. Remember I said from night to day, she walks up the ladder, ends up in the daytime. Boom, look at wisdom. That's the end of the ladder where now she's standing on books. She's standing on wisdom and she's in that daytime energy. You guys walked through the portal. So the new person is on basically the next level. You guys are going to the next level of your life, this new pathway that has been opened up for you and included in that new world is a soulmate. Wow. I just heard this too. I don't want people to take this too far or too literal. This is for some of y'all. I'm getting that's your choice. Okay. Especially with this too, we still represent choices. I would always recommend taking the path. I mean, this is kind of like it's your choice, but, you know, take the new thing. Wow. The judgment card wants to flip over. <sighs> I feel so amazing for you guys. It's just like, yes, this is what I wanted. You guys, I feel like you've worked so hard. And I'm just getting like, you deserve it. Mm. Let's see what's in the um in a deep root. Oh, maybe you deserve it because you walked away from some past energy that was toxic. And this is the reward season. I'm feeling that deep. This is the reward season. Okay. Now, remember what I said? Somebody do anything to get your attention. 
obsession energy. Okay, maybe this is why you have this defensive position because you, you know, like the ne next person coming in, you feel like, oh no, are you going to be like the last person? Are you toxic? Like, it's kind of like I'm getting that, you know, your wisdom is making you analyze people a little bit differently, right? So they're coming into your life, oh, you know, little slick rip, want to come on in and be a part of your world, but you know what questions to ask? You know what to look for? You know what signs? You know who's a narcissist? Like, you can call it real quick. You know, all of that stuff. And it's because of the wisdom that you've gained through the experiences that you've been through, which allowed this portal to open. Some people don't get to this level of ascension because they don't learn the lessons. But you did. You broke free from that chain. So now you get a new portal open, a new world, and a new loving relationship. Don't this card look a lot better than this one? These people are together because they want to be together. These people are bound. I can't read. What if I don't have no other love? But anyway, this is how this person may feel. They see your transformation. And I'm also getting they see that you have potential with other people or someone else specific. Now, I want to talk about it. what is the devil here for? This is the deep root of it. I keep getting it again. Reward season. You broke the chain. Let's see. Why did they show up? Ooh, assessing. Now, I got this for... I think Capricorn and Aquarius Virgo, like maybe all of them got this card, but this card came up a lot in the other readings. And this is talking about looking at the future. And some of y'all realize, listen, if we keep going on like this, I would be wasting my years on something that eventually wasn't going to work anyway. Some of y'all, I'm getting, you just chopped it, cut it, dry, cold turkey, and just left it, right? Um, looking at your future for what you really want. And if I leave this here, then maybe in the future, just maybe I might get something better. Right? So this caused you to look outward. And you again, you needed that experience because you would have never hoped for better or reached for higher or gained another level of self-worth had somebody not done you so bad or treated you so wrong. So you can get to the point where you're like, you know what? I deserve better. See, boom. As soon as you said that, ow, you set off the chain. And the momentum shifted. And the universe heard better. The cancer stay better, and then pow, that's how things started to change. But before this, you probably just thought, oh, yeah, this is what I need. This is what I want. You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. Let's see what happened in the recent past. I just heard green pastures. And when you know that path has some green grass. <sighs> I feel so good in y'all vibe. I love it. Let's see. Um, Let's see what we have in the recent past. Uh, the Nine of Swords. So this is then the reason why I feel good now is because this is like the storm that has passed over or that dark cloud that has passed over. And for some of y'all who are still in this dark cloud moment, it's passing over. This is the nine of swords being anxious. Some of you guys not knowing, you know, if I should walk through this portal or if this thing is for me. Um, in the self-reflective stage, some of you guys may have saw parts of yourself you didn't like, things that maybe you needed to change. Okay, in order for your life to change, in order for your life to shift. But this is worry, this is concern. And also, I'm picking this up on the other end, too. Um, I'm, I'm getting, like, the other energy, like, don't forget me, don't forget me. So if some of y'all had a split with somebody or a split with some type of, I just heard, organization as well, you're not the only one anxious. You're not the only one losing sleep. You wasn't the only one, you know, stressed out about things. You know what I mean? So there's another part of you who's stressed out. All right, and this is probably why they would do anything to get the attention. Um, because someone needs some relief. Okay. I'm saying it like a bottle, you know, being shaken up, shaken up. And once you open it, it just go everywhere. I feel like if this person, um, if you and this person had a conversation, they would open up to you and it would just unleash like that bottle. You know what I mean? Because they have so much to say to get off their chest, and they would rather say it and get it off their chest than go keep going on their days holding it in. <laughs> Woo. but that's from the person who's seen you change this is not from, the, from a new person coming in this is past energy let's see what we got in the headspace ah, five of wands conflict of the mind and this is also that self reflective stage too so for some of y'all this was you having to uh, face things about yourself that you needed to change like you gotta stop giving people with uh, narcissistic red flags you gotta stop giving them a chance quick um, some of you guys 
understanding that it's your own self-worth and value that's attracting in the types of people that you're attracting in. But then also this is coming from that other energy, okay? That dual energy. Somebody else is in conflict of the mind. They saw you transform. They want to be a part of that. They want to be, they want to have the new you. And I'm even giving to myself, like, man, why couldn't you be that person when you were with me? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah. They're wondering how come, you know, somebody else gets to have the new and improved you. How come I had the caterpillar, the one who crawled around on the ground real slow, and the next person gets the butterfly, the one who can fly, the one who got all these beautiful colors, the one with wings, you know what I'm saying? Someone is feeling like that. And that's why they feel like they want to get back at you because it's like, dude, I want the wings. But anyway... Remember I was saying some attention? You guys getting a lot of attention? Not all attention is good attention. Some of you guys are attracting attention because you're ascending in a specific area where there are people who look at you as competition. A lot of you guys, like I said, I've said something about like a supervisor or y'all getting to be like the boss or the head of something or you just being a leader in your community or you getting a platform. Remember I was saying about platforms, a lot of platforms happening right now. Lots of people, like I don't care how you feel. You can say what you want to say. You can get left behind or you can be um, one of the first. You can get left behind or you can be first in line. You know what I'm saying? Platforms, mark my word, a lot of people will be plat popping off on their you know particular platforms, okay? You're on the battlefield. A lot of you guys have the gusto. You have what it takes to be on the battlefield. And because of that, as soon as you step onto the plane, you separate yourself and you're different. So because you have that self-reflective time to get to the core of who you were, uh, unique personality-wise, authentic self-wise, that's what sets you apart, okay? Operating from your truest, highest self. But anyway, um... Someone else is thinking about all the competition or what they would have to do to get to you. Someone feels like if they even approached you, again, remember I was saying they would unleash and they would just let it all out? Okay, suppose I did that. Suppose I, I, I just let my heart out to you, right? Can't say. Who else do I have to worry about pouring their heart out to you too? Who do I have to compete with? What exactly, you know, what obstacle course, what fire hoops am I going to have to jump through to get back with you? That's what the, I guess, the hold up. I'm saying it like a, um, like a drain that's stopped up. It's like all of the stuff that's stopping it up. It's the competition. I'm getting the pride, the ego, all that kind of stuff. So moving forward, though. Uh, moving forward, I want to get more so into this Two of Cups energy. What's happening moving forward? The Queen of Swords. Mm, I'm getting someone taking their time. Again, remember I was saying uh, you're assessing better. You're recognizing red flags earlier. You're learning to chop things up to bit in a second. That's what we're doing. Queen energy, though, or king energy, so it's on a higher level. It's on a higher vibration. So they do anything to get your attention because you're in the queen. And also, again, for me, this is like gift, skill, project. Remember, I was saying you were on the battlefield, so if this has absolutely nothing to do with romance. It may have everything to do with you being some type of leader, boss, superior, uh, gain in some type of crown in some type of industry or some type of area. When you step onto the battlefield, your competitors are going to have to bow down to the queen. All hell, queen, canter. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Let's see. Let's talk about the queen of swords. Why is this queen of swords energy coming up in the near future for cancer? Queen of swords energy. Boundaries. And wouldn't you know the queen of swords is the queen of boundaries, right? She knows what she wants, what she don't want. What she's going to tolerate, what she's not putting up with, who coming in, who staying out. She got that all together. And that's what you guys have learned. Dun, 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 dun. That's what you guys have learned. You know what I'm saying? That's what you've learned in this entire thing. And I mean, I guess the new person coming in is just going to have to deal with the fact that you have boundaries, which is good. Doesn't mean things are going to not work out it just means things are going to take their progressive time 
Also, I'm getting this too with like whatever it is you got coming in. Remember, I was just saying something about reward season. Okay, I'm getting that again. Maybe it's because you you cross some type of finish line. Boom, reward season. You get the crown. You stepped into something and you know you took over. Boom, you get the crown. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting something else with this here too. Let me see. I want to clarify. One more card for the near future. And I was getting that, but I was saying I want to talk about this two of cups. Who wants Cancer's attention that maybe they don't know about? Two cards jumped out. It's going to answer the question. Who wants Cancer's attention that maybe they don't know about? Ooh, the death card. And the sun card. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Your dreams want your attention. Your calling wants your attention. Um, the butterfly cocoon thing. That's what this is like. Like the death card and the sun coming out. Wow. Um, the things that make you happy want your attention. Maybe you didn't know this. Um, the things that make you smile. Um, the things that are good and healthy for you. I keep getting, especially like your dreams, your calling, your purpose, that wants your attention. So we got all the different things that, you know, want your attention, all the different types of people. But what you don't know is that just as bad as all these people want your attention, your dreams and your calling want your attention even more. And that's why y'all probably in these boundaries. Hmm, what's all coming together now? Wow. Dropping all of the things that no longer serve you. I mean, we could sing that like a choir. We know that by now. But giving more so, saying yes, more so to all of the things that make you happy. What wants your attention that you didn't know your happiness? Standing over there like, hey, what about me? Don't you want to come over here? I just cook dinner. You know, or well, whatever happiness will say to you. But this transformation, again, this death card. Don't be afraid of this death card. This is that transformation. This is that beauty. This is that butterfly. That transition. This is that caterpillar to butterfly energy right here. Two of swords. This is in the um, fear position. Being stuck. Not being able to move forward. Make a decision. Uh, standing here. This woman, you probably can't see that, but it's a woman here. Standing at the bottom of that ladder. Now, that's the pathway. It's clear. It's a ladder going up to a new portal. But once that portal closes, ain't no going back to that old life. That's how this death card is. It's like once you decide to step forward into this industry or to step out onto that platform or to do what it is you was born and called to do, ain't no turning back. But it's the only way to move forward. Some of y'all feel like if I move forward with someone, if I put myself out there, that's it. I can't go back in the closet in a sense, you know. Uh, what if I get stuck out there, you know, ship without a sail? If I go out there in the ocean with no, you know, uh, life raft or whatever you need to survive out there, how am I going to survive? Some of y'all don't want to be stuck. But the only way, like, through it is to, to, to walk forward. The only way through is forward. If you go back. Going back to where you started. Who wants to go back to where you started? Yee. Let's see what we have um, in terms of how people are looking at you. How are you being viewed during this time, Cancer? Huh, they want your attention. Somebody will do anything for your attention. How are they looking at you right now? Ooh, three cards. So we got different. I'm going to register these as different type of energies. Okay? So... Um, this past energy, how are they viewing you? The new person or new people or energy moving forward. And then I'm going to think of something for that one in a second. Hold on. So this past energy. They see you as the nine of swords. I just, first thing I got was brutally honest. Like maybe you've been brutally honest with this person before. Or maybe you cut this person off and it was just like brutal, like a shock. Like I wasn't expecting you to just cut me off like that again. I'm getting that clean cut like pow, like... Didn't say nothing, uh, no warning, you know, didn't drop a clue or a hint. It's just like, boom, here it is. And you drop them. And that was very cutthroat. 
that was very uh very real of you okay because we still dealing with swords so it was real you had to do what you had to do but the person feels it they know it they they get it like that it wasn't like oh maybe cancer's just you know uh, it's been six months and uh cancer's just uh out for milk cancer will be back it's just like nah cancer cut me off cancer did what cancer left me cancer didn't okay like that new person moving forward ah five of cups so this person may have said something to you before or maybe y'all this could be like not this devilistic energy but um maybe even someone who already knew you before and it, things never got off the ground so if it is a new person it's a new person in the sense that you know the person but y'all never got there okay so it was no romance okay um also someone may see you as maybe sad about a different relationship they may have known you for some reason i'm picking up like a baby daddy or something like they know you have a baby daddy or maybe it's, they know you got a baby mama things didn't work out so they maybe see you as i don't know they see you as not looking at them as well if you look at this five of cups i'm not sure if you can see that or not but she's looking at the three cups on the ground it's two cups behind her and if you notice the two of cups so if she leaves those three cups behind and turns around and pick up one of those cups, that other person gonna pick up that cup and boom, soulmate. So they see you as not looking for love. I, I'm getting uh, uh, emotionally unavailable. So maybe somebody who wants you sees you as emotionally unavailable, while somebody else is seeing you as very cutthroat. They cut me off. Okay. Okay, how are you being seen by everybody else? Anything or anybody else that wants your attention? The Ace of Swords. Didn't I say that earlier about like that true identity? That um, high, authentic self? This is what this is. So they see something as real as well. I keep getting that. I keep saying that. Um, it's real. Whatever you do, it's real talent. Um, you're a real competitor. I'm just saying and getting it like you're about to be taken very, very seriously. Like whatever was a joke before, whatever people wrote you off for before, whatever people ignored you for or bashed you for, it's like now it's all about to make good old common sense. Okay? It's all for a purpose, for a reason. And it's, I just keep feeling like it's going to make sense. It's all going to make sense to everyone. Or that's what's happening. For those who are already in an energy where you're experiencing all of this sudden wave of attention, it's already making sense. Okay, let's see uh, what you hope for, what someone else's hope for is for you. Ooh, this dish jumps out. Ooh, the four pentacles to pull back your energy, to pull back that coin. For some of you all, this is a sidebar. This may be money. Okay, for some of you guys, you're looking to learn how to invest. You're looking to learn how to um, flip flip a coin. Where she holding it like, like she want to flip it. Okay, um, some of you guys are learning how to put your money to the side, or you're being told to put some money to the side. Um, growing uh, businesses. Uh, I'm getting things like making things multiply. I don't know who that's for. Um, but yeah, all of that is going on. So maybe you guys are looking to build in that area now. That's the first pentacle that we have the whole time. Mm. So maybe, again, so the money is not, so like the money is hidden is what I'm saying. So if she's hiding the money, you guys are hiding money, he or she take out the flies, um, then I guess that's what you're being told to do. So on a surface level, people just see a bunch of change, but they don't necessarily... Maybe this is not stunting in front energy. Maybe you guys don't um, show or flaunt, something like that. Maybe you keep your wealth a secret or you keep your accounts and keep your affairs or keep your businesses on the low. You don't really let people in that area of your life, which for right now is looking good. Cause you're still attracting so much and maybe this is kind of um, getting like a mysterious energy too because people can't see how you're doing it again going back to the reference at the top nobody's eyes are visible 
and I'm also getting holding back your secrets, holding back your, um, like people want to know, again, people want to know what you're doing or how you're doing something. Maybe the mystery of you is what has everybody's attention. Whoa. The Ten of Swords. So this is just a bunch of endings. The Death card. Uh, the Ten of Swords. I love this one because it says everything is fine. Right? She's laying there with her cell phone. So it's like, oh, she's going to get up again. Or maybe you're going to date again. Maybe you're going to be out there on the battlefield soon. But whatever the case may be, um... It's like, you know things have to end, but you're okay with that, right? Like, everything is fine. Like, I know certain cycles. Like, I'm just getting like you've come to peace or you've come to terms with certain things in your life. You've come to terms with who you are. You're either going to like it, love it, or leave it. You know, I'm just getting that. Like, I don't know. I'm picking up this energy. Like, you're just so happy to just be in your own energy. You do what you want. You go with the flow. You like water, baby. So, with that being said, I want to look deeper into romance and love with you guys. We're going to be talking about what's coming up, maybe what you need to do, duck and dodge. So, we're going to get one card to talk about cancer and the realm of love coming up. What's up with cancer? For love. For love. For love. What's up with cancer? I'm gonna pull just one of these and then we're gonna go to a small five card spread just to talk about the rest of it. The like cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, starting here cancer, love, attraction, attraction, attention, whatever you wanna call it. Your powers of attraction and love are here. And what I tell you, whatever wavelength you're on, whatever frequency, whatever vibration you're on, that's what you're going to attract. So what are you thinking about? You're thinking about the past heartbreak? Are you imagining all the things that could go wrong, all the ways you could get played, all the ways that somebody break your heart? Or are you focusing on happy days and lovely, fun times and all that kind of stuff? So keep your powers of attraction high. Keep your thoughts really high, you know, when it comes to that high vibrational um, and then too, this is like coming towards you, like your level of attraction. Okay. Some of you guys, again, that butterfly energy, first you was a caterpillar. Now you are a butterfly and maybe who you're attracting, the caliber of person that you're attracting is a lot higher. Okay. But attraction, you know, take it how it sounds for you. All right. So what's going on right now? Current energy, current energy for cancer. Four of Wands. We, I was joking with uh, the other signs, like we've been in terror long enough to know what this card means. You know, we can sing it. Uh, the Four of Wands is all about that foundation, that stability, and who? The Twin Flames. So you had the Soulmate card come in, you had the Twin Flame card come in. And as you guys may know, like just collective wise, a lot of that soulmate twin flame energy is going on right now. Some people are, you know, choosing one or the other. Like it's, it's, like, I don't know, it's happening. Um, so maybe you're in the running for that as well. Maybe you left a soulmate, meet twin flame. Maybe you and twin flame fell out and the soulmate is coming in. It's like, okay, well, take this right here, right here, right now. Yeah, things are different. I just feel like things are totally different now. You're at that point of attraction. Ooh, look at that. The four. And I was about to say, this is 4-4, four, four, and this is 4, so 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I was about to say, you're at that level of attraction in your life where you're attracting more stable partners. Not that devil, toxic energy stuff. People who are more stable-minded, people who are more financially stable, emotionally stable, you know what I'm saying? Physically stable. You're just getting into that stability. Therefore, you're attracting more of people with that stability, Right? And then, of course, this is talking about the, the soulmate, the twin flame, the divine masculine, divine feminine, however you want to take this card. It's just that type of energy, okay? Maybe some of y'all are just 
I don't know, when you release a lot of negativity and a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and a lot of things that you can't control, you open up room for other vibrations to come in, like peace and calmness and stillness and gratitude, you know? And y'all just been trading up on energies. You've been trading up on vibes. And that in turn is trading up your life. So let's see. What's going on behind the scenes? Tell cancer something about their love life that they don't know right now. It's kind of like when we was talking about that attention. Y'all probably didn't know y'all dreams was like, hey. All right, so what's going on in love behind the scenes for cancer that they may not know about? Ooh, five of pentacles. You've left a lot of people. I'm just getting a trail. See, it's to me, it's like a trail of maybe heartbreaks or a trail of emotions and feelings, and you don't even know it. Like some of y'all, again, it's going right back to that self-worth, self-value. Some of y'all didn't even know how valuable you was in other people's lives. Okay, and because you walked away from things or people or situations where people can't control you no more, people don't have access to you like that anymore. What you don't know about love specifically in general is that you left some people and they feel it. And I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Some of this is like you don't expect you would never expect that it came from that person. Because I'm not feeling with this card. It's always the last ex you had. It could be. Because I'm seeing a trail, we're not talking about one person. Remember how them three cards jumped out? We're not talking about one specific person. Maybe y'all got a trail of heartbreak or a trail of people that you left that you would never expect feel left out. Because this, I'm getting like maybe that ghosting. She's sitting there trapped and she's by herself. So it's kind of like if these people, um, you know, were used to other people not being able to just let them go like that. You were the one who, like the straw that broke the camel's back, which would in turn make you the one who got away. I keep feeling like somebody keeps in touch with all their exes, but you're the ex that won't allow for that. You know what I mean? And maybe you don't know that this person really feels bad about that. I'm getting like we could at least be friends. Let's see what we have uh, that's working for you. In love, what is actually working for cancer? Oh, goodness, too many cards. Wanna, but that ten of swords again want to pop over. That, um, let me, I'm getting like bygones be bygones. Bye-bye. You're gone. <laughs> like, being able to just cut it again. They cut the, but let's see, what's working for you? Let's give it a fair, fair pull. The six of cups. Let the bygones be the bygones. Leave the past in the past. Or using all of the lessons that we learned from the past to, you know, push forward in our future. Yeah, past energy. And I'm also getting the impression that you left. That's very specific. The impression that you left, okay? So maybe something or some people from the past, like you left a good impression. Or maybe you left situation. I'm also getting like smelling like roses. So it's like if people did you wrong and now you're gone. And they can't have you like that anymore. They in this five of pentacles energy. It's like they know they were wrong. And it's like it's, they feel like, well, you know, it's they're probably not saying it to themselves. Oh, it serves me right. But it's just kind of like, yeah, they know why. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I wouldn't have let nobody do that to me either. Or I wouldn't have let nobody treat me the way I treated them either. You know what I'm saying? But it's just kind of like, well, dang, you, we could at least be friends, you know? All right. I'm hearing, I'm getting like soothing over past energy the like the past is soothing over maybe you guys are clearing up karmic cycles and all of that is just soothing over i'm seeing like a credit report like uh like after seven years they drop off your credit report okay kind of like that <laughs> let's see what's not working for you what you need to change fix the king of pentacles Ooh, the person so maybe a person still lingering around or maybe this is the person who you need to wait for, okay? This person is not here in your life yet, but this is who you want. Or this is, you know, who you're going to have this four wands energy with. Maybe this is why she's sitting up by herself, because she knows that person's out there, and she's not going to, um, you know, have anything less than this. But it can also be a person who you're not fully over. So let's talk about it. If this is a new person that Cancer's waiting for, why is this, you know, the negative energy? And if this is a person that Cancer let, can't let go of, or a person who can't let go of Cancer, why is this in a negative? Okay, so you're waiting. Oh, beauty. 
King of Pentacles. You know what I feel like for this too? The uh, the transformation. Some of you guys may not feel like you have the money to transform. You feel like, and I'm getting this for somebody. Don't be offended. Some of y'all may feel like uh, a person who you had in your life, a man who was like footing the bill or giving some type of money is not there anymore. Some of y'all I'm also getting don't feel as beautiful as like the King of Pentacles. Again, a worthiness thing. Or maybe some of y'all feel like because you can't have or afford certain type of things, you're not as beautiful as you are. Some of you need to know it don't take a cost a lot and you don't need to be the King of Pentacles or have the King of Pentacles to see yourself as beautiful or go through that transformation process. Okay? Now, this is somebody who you can't get over, they can't get over you. Fear. Mm-hmm. Scared to let them go because maybe you might not find nobody else. Maybe this was the King of Pentacles and they was just lavishing, you know, and luxur luxury buying. Make up some words today. And they're gone. Or maybe you don't know what to do without this person or something. But again, fear. Fears. Illusions. If I leave, will I find somebody else? Yeah, but the attraction. If you have that fear that you won't, you won't. So we got to break attraction patterns and bad vibration, change in the radio. All right, um, let's go to the outcome. Outcome for this next transit for cancer in terms of love. Let's just talk about for the next month, the next, you know, two weeks to a month. Too many cards going to fall out. That nine of wands. I'm tired, child. I'm tired. You're defending everything that you have. Let's see what else we got. Ah, ten of pentacles. Wow. So we doubling up. I just get doubling up. Now, here's the money. Wow. During that whole reading, we only had a little, little bit of change falling in. So it seems as though during this next transit of like self-love and raising your vibration, it's like it's going to raise other vibrations too. So in your money department, uh, operating out of like love and self-care and self-worth and self-value, all of those type of frequencies are going to now translate over here to actual money and check. Ain't that something? Goodness. That's why this attraction is here. It's like one thing is going to lead to another. It's like, man, if I raise my vibration in self-love, that in turn raises the self-worth, value, all of those currency terms, which will in turn raise the bank account. Ain't that something? Wow. That's a clue for somebody. All right? Ten of, pen ten, ten of Pentacles also talks about, you know, the money rolling in, it talks about, again, solid foundations for the future. Y'all know I love to stay generational well, you know, keeping your eyes on the prize. Um, and that's what a lot of y'all are doing. A lot of y'all are focused on the bag. But again, that self-love that I'm just looking and trying to make my life do what it do, that's the attention getter. That's your attention getter. The fact that you're so focused on your thing, you know, that stability, uh, you, you might attract in that other stable party. Let's talk about one more thing. Let's wrap it up for Cancer and Love. Cancer, um, this Ten of Pentacles, again, I got this with another sign. I'm getting this for you as well. This represents it's already like written in the stars. So your destiny or attraction, your story, you know, is written. So just find, um, the, you got a quantum jump to the reality where that exists. So picture what you want long-term, family-wise, generational wealth-wise. See it and then work your way to that reality. You feel what I'm saying? But it's already there. It's already written in one of these infinite possibilities. Just go to that one, okay? Now, let us see. One more. Let's wrap it up for Cancer and Love. Two want to come out. New beginnings. <laughs> that sounds like a that part of the drum line. But new beginnings, walking through a new door, a new threshold, and boundaries comes up again. Just because we're moving into new territory don't mean we need to go in there blind. Don't mean we need to go in there all happy-go-lucky. Like, listen, let's look around first. I'm the type of person, when I go into a party or to a club or something like that, I got to look around. I got to observe first. I ain't just going up in and dancing. Now I got to see what's going on. And that's how you've been told to move forward. Let's see what's going on first. Okay, we can just walk into a brand new world and make sure I know what's going on first. Stay alert. Okay. Uh-huh. You can say yes, but sometimes say no. 
okay? Now, I'm feeling like this too, um, with this level of attraction, y'all walking through a new level or getting onto a new vibration of frequency, and that's going to attract new people and new things. But just because they operate at that same vibration as you now, doesn't mean that you don't, that you can just drop your guard, right? Still have to kind of walk in that energy, like, you know, like, hold on, wait a minute, let me keep my coins right here, value your time, attention, your work, all of that right here. Let me see what you're going to do. Let me observe for a little while. You know, that kind of stuff, okay? Nothing wrong with that. So, that's what I get for you, Cancer. Thank you guys so much. The attention is on you. So, what you going to do? Got to figure that out. So, I appreciate you guys for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you so much. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in your next video.